You just brought home Alex. Oh, Did you hook up with him tonight? Probably. Do I care? No. Angelina, Doesn't matter this to me. is why nobody likes you because they Doesn't keep matter. talking. Shut the oh, up. No. Don't tell me to shut the Seriously, up. Seriously, every time I sat come here, home, all you I do is talk. I don't give a about anybody in this house. Okay. Hold my earrings, please. Oh, oh yeah, this is what's up. This is what's up. We keep it. Ricky? We interrupt your normally broadcasted program for this important message. Because of the exponentially increasing population of humans, there's no more land on Earth to house everyone. Therefore, the President is going to reveal his plan for the future of humanity. that the world start to build up. This will not only solve our overcrowding issue, but will cost significantly less in money and disruption to everyday life than moving to space or underwater. Because of our immense population creating enormous amounts of waste, Earth has become massively overcrowded. There is not enough landfill or living space. This is one issue that will be solved with our decision to build up. Also, due to our rapidly dwindling supply of natural resources, we need to invest and create renewable energy to sustain our population. We are already in the process of becoming a vertical living society. Throughout history, buildings have been increasing in height. For example, With the enormous heights of our new buildings, it will become more practical to have hover cars so that it, it is easier to maneuver around our new society. The clips you're about to see are some examples of how we plan to build vertically. It's too much. Hang on. Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. As you can see, this is a very feasible plan, and it must be implemented immediately if we want humanity to have a chance for survival in the future. 